Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we are going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have franchise tagged wide receiver Chris Godwin. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos, and give your thoughts and opinions about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers franchise tagging, again, wide receiver Chris Godwin, down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this topic. So, Chris Godwin is going to be staying with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The franchise tag for Chris Godwin is a little over $19 million. Oh boy, that is a pretty penny to pay, but you know what? I don't think a ton of people are going to be surprised that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are keeping Chris Godwin, right? We heard and saw all the reports at the NFL Combine. I was there myself. I heard this in person. How much Jason Light and Bruce Arians wanted to keep Chris Godwin time and time and time again when they were asked about Godwin, they said that they really wanted to keep him. Bruce Arians even went as far as to say that he's only ever had three wide receivers in his entire career coaching in the NFL that do the things that Chris Godwin does in the NFL. Those three wide receivers were Heinz Ward, Larry Fitzgerald, and Reggie Wayne. All three are Hall of Fame caliber, you know, if they aren't already in the Hall of Fame already anyway, uh, type wide receivers. And Bruce Arians is putting Chris Godwin with those guys. So, yeah, safe to say that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Love what Chris Godwin does for this offense. They wanted to keep him around in Tampa Bay this offseason. However, the part that I believe is going to be frustrating for some people regarding the franchise tag being placed on Chris Godwin is why hasn't a long-term deal been ironed out yet, right? Been done yet for Chris Godwin. He played on the franchise tag last year. They've had an entire year to negotiate a long-term contract, and they still haven't been able to get this done. I don't believe the price tag has changed much for Chris Godwin, considering, you know, $18 million, $18.5 million, that was Chris Godwin's asking price last year. So nothing's really changed, I think, in regards to asking prices or things along those lines. It's just, unfortunately, a matter of a deal has not been able to get done. So I understand where some people may be frustrated, right, in saying, hey, what the heck, why can't a long-term deal get done? And I do want to say this, just because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have franchise tagged Chris Godwin now does not mean they won't be able to get a long-term deal done in the very near future. You know, they franchise tagged Donovan Smith a couple of years ago, and then they ended up signing him to a long-term deal shortly after placing him on the franchise tag. Just because you place the franchise tag on a player does not mean you automatically have to shelve long-term contract negotiations. Now, they can't reuse the franchise tag on another player. This has officially been used on Chris Godwin, which... Begs the question, what's going to happen to guys like Carlton Davis? I think that a pretty large assumption in the fan base and media alike was that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were going to be able to iron out a long-term extension for Chris Godwin before the franchise tag deadline, and then they were going to franchise tag Carlton Davis for around a little over $17 million. So, what happens to Carlton Davis now? Well, if they aren't able to iron out a long-term deal before the legal tampering period, Carlton Davis is going to go into the open market. I think that that will be a pretty safe assumption to make right now that Davis will be going into the open market. And you know what? It's it's going to be interesting. I, I do believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to try their darndest to keep Carlton Davis around, sign him to a long-term deal as well. But... You know, you're going to have 31 other teams in there now who are going to be able to offer whatever they want to Carlton Davis to try and lure him away from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is dangerous territory because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers need Carlton Davis. Of course, as I've said in multiple videos in the past, Chris Godwin was always on the top of their priority list, but you can make a safe assumption that Carlton Davis was probably number two. And if he does end up going to the open market, if they are not able to come to terms on a long-term deal, that's when things really get dicey in terms of 
will or won't Carlton Davis actually be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So due to this franchise tag being placed on Chris Godwin, there is, I believe at least, going to be more of a microscope, more of a pointed view as to what is going to happen with Carlton Davis. But I do want to say this, uh, very happy to have Chris Godwin back on the team. He is fantastic, phenomenal. I know some people are going to have questions about his torn ACL that he suffered late in the season last year with the Bucks. Personally, I think that Godwin will be able to bounce back from that injury and still be one of the top receivers in the NFL that all Bucks fans have come to know and love. And now we're going to definitely be monitoring the situation with Carlton Davis and what the heck is going to go on there with a potential open market looming on Carlton Davis's horizon. So what do you guys think about Chris Godwin receiving the franchise tag? Leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.